Hey, we're going to talk about outliers. So if we have a data set, there may be a list of numbers, um, an outlier is a value that's very different from the others. All right, so we'll look at an example in a minute, um, but it's, it's really noticeably different uh, from the other values. Uh, so sometimes the outlier could be just a mistake, and if in, if it's a mistake, um, then we try to we don't include it when we're doing calculations. Like for example, if we're finding the mean or the median, um, but other times the outlier is a real value. It's just an unusual one, um, and in this case, we should not get rid of it. We should absolutely keep it. Okay, so let's look at a list. Here's a list of an example, a list of ages of high school graduates. So we have 18, 17, 18, 18, 19, 17, 1, 17, 18, 36, and 17. So if you look at that list, I hope that there are two numbers that sort of jump out at you as, uh, jump out at you as different from the others, and those are the two outliers. So there's this one here, the 1, and then this one here, the 36. So the one, and this one we can sort of deduce because, because we know what the context is, that it's the ages of high school graduates. This is just a mistake. This is an error. Someone wrote it down wrong, or they were typing it in, and they tried to type 17, but only the seven didn't come through. This is an error. So if we were doing calculations with these pieces of data, we would discount that. We would not include it, because it's just wrong. Okay. Now this 36, this 36 is not an error. This is just a mature student. So this is someone who uh, didn't finish high school when they were 17 or 18 or 19, um, and then they went back uh, later and they finished it when they were 36. So this compared to the other students on the list, this is an unusual age, um, but this is a valid age, this is real, this really happened. Um, so this is an important part of the piece of data. So we would keep this one, uh, the important part of the set of data. So we would keep that, all right? We wouldn't get rid of that one. We would just get rid of this one because it's a mistake. Okay, so in this set, um, it was really quite easy to spot the outliers. I don't think there would be, I think more, most people would agree on those two data points being outliers. In other cases, uh, it's a little, it takes a little bit more judgment to decide, is this value an outlier? Uh, like how is it sort of different enough from the set of other the other uh, numbers in the in the data set? Um, so there are several different definitions of what makes an outlier, but no universally accepted one. Uh, so we try to just consider it all. Um, sometimes it helps to consider all the numbers in order, so you can really see how they're changing to decide if one is really unusual compared to the others. Okay. Good luck.